So in our next example, trying to set up a resonance frequency of a sound wave in an open-ended pipe, open-ended means it's open on both sides, in such a way that you have a displacement anti-node on both sides of the pipe, which means zero, uh, that means um, anti-node means maximum displacement and therefore zero pressure difference at the ends of the pipe. The first example, we had a situation where we have one node in the middle, two anti-nodes on the end. So here we have to have at least two anti-nodes in the middle. I mean, two nodes in the middle. So we have to have one here and one there, anti-nodes on the other side. So it will look like this. That will be the next possible resonance frequency in an open-ended pipe. Notice that this is a quarter of a wavelength. That's a quarter of a wavelength and this is a half a wavelength. So in this particular case, we have the length of the pipe equal to one whole wavelength. So length equals lambda. Now, what frequency of sound is required to have a situation like this. Notice that the base frequency was 200 hertz, so what frequency will set up a situation like that? Hmm, well, to figure that out, we can set the length equal to the uh, wavelength, or the wavelength equal to the length, and since the length of the pipe was 0 0.85 meters, we know that the wavelength will be 0 0.85 meters. So therefore, using the equation that velocity is equal to the frequency times the wavelength, Frequency of the second resonance is therefore going to be equal to the velocity divided by the wavelength of the second <coughs> resonance situation, which is 0.85 meters. So this is equal to 340 meters per second divided by 0 0.85 meters. And that's going to be exactly equal to 400 hertz, which means that the second resonance frequency of the second resonance is twice the frequency of the base resonance or the fundamental frequency. Wow, that means we have a second overtone situation here. This means that the resonance frequency of this situation is twice the frequency of the resonance of this situation. In closed-end pipes, the second situation was three times the frequency, therefore we call that the third overtone. But in an open-end pipe, the second resonance is equivalent to the second overtone. All right, now, in the next example, we're going to do a situation where we find the next potential standing wave. So if you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned for the next video.